students in today's class we will learn how to solve this question we are expected to find the value of x well when you look at this question it might be quite intimidating when you see 16 raised to the power x positive 20 raised to the power x is equal to 25 raised to the power x and we are expected to find the value of x in actual reality a simple way or I would say just by merely adopting a simple simplification process this entire system can be reduced to solvable algebraic equation so let us do that first so what I'm going to do I'm going to be dividing both sides by 16 raised to the power x so this would give me 16 raised to the power x divided by 16 raised to the power x positive 20 raised to the power x divided by 16 raised to the power x is equal to 25 raised to the power x divided by 16 raised to the power x. Now clearly the first term can be cancelled giving me 1 positive 20 raised to the power x divided by 16 raised to the power x is equal to 25 raised to the power x divided by 16 raised to the power x. Now, you all know that 16 raised to the power x can be rewritten as 4 squared raised to the power x. Now, this is nothing but 4 raised to the power 2x. Now, if I want to still further reduce it, I can reduce it as 4 raised to the power x times 4 raised to the power x because of the fact that a raised to the power m times a raised to the power n is equal to a raised to the power m positive n. Okay. So, using this algebraic rule on exponent values, I would be using that concept here. So, I'm going to be rewriting... Uh, 16x first as 4 raised to the power x multiplied with 4 raised to the power x. Okay, now 20 raised to the power x, I'm going to write 20 raised to the power x as 4 times 5 and that is raised to the power x. Now this is nothing but 4 raised to the power x times 5 raised to the power x. Okay, so I'm going to write 20 raised to the power x as 4 raised to the power x times 5 raised to the power x and that is equal to now I've got 25 over 16 now 25 is nothing but 5 squared that has to be raised to the power x now 16 is nothing but 4 squared that has to be raised to the power x so this is the system that I have got now clearly 4 raised to the power x can be cancelled so that would give me one positive 5 raised to the power x divided by 4 raised to the power x is equal to now this can be rewritten as 5 raised to the power x raised to the power 2 divided by 4 raised to the power x raised to the power 2 now on the right side I can further rewrite this as 5 over 4 now I'm going to write it as 5 over 4 raised to the power x and that is raised to the power of 2 I can easily do that because a raised to the power m times n can be rewritten as a raised to the power m, the old is raised to the power n. So this is again from the law of exponents and how do we handle indices. So this is the way I am writing the right side. On the left side, I am going to write this as 1 positive 5 over 4, the old raised to the power x. Now let me assume 5 over 4 raised to the power x to be as some t. So if I were to take this as 2, therefore 2 can be rewritten as 1 positive t is equal to 5 over 4 raised to the power x is t. So this is going to be t squared. Now I can still further rewrite it as t squared negative t negative 1 is equal to 0. I'm bringing all of these terms to the side where t squared is present and that's why we get this quadratic equation. I'm using the quadratic formula so t is equal to negative b plus or minus root of b squared negative 4ac divided by 2 times a. The value of a is 1, the value of b is negative 1, the value of c is negative 1. So if you were to use the formula, you get t is equal to negative of negative 1 
plus or minus root of negative 1 raised to the power 2 negative 4 times a times c is negative 1 that has to be divided by 2 times a is positive 1 this is going to be 1 plus or minus root of 1 squared is 1 of course this negative would become positive negative times negative would be positive so that's going to be negative negative will give me positive 4 there so that has to be divided by 2 so this is equal to 1 plus or minus root of 5 divided by 2 on the left it's actually t so t has got two values so therefore t is equal to 1 positive root 5 divided by 2 or t is equal to 1 negative root 5 divided by 2 okay now i i won't be using this value because this value would lead me to a negative quantity okay i don't want to use this quantity because since I need to find the value of x, I'm going to use the value of t to be as 1 positive root of 5 divided by 2. Now, we know that the va value of t, okay, t is taken to be as 5 over 4 raised to the power x. So, therefore, if I were to take this as 3, I can rewrite 3 as 5 over 4 raised to the power x is equal to 1 positive root 5 divided by 2. Now, I would be taking ln both sides, logarithm to the base e both sides. Now, when I do that, this is going to be ln of 5 over 4 raised to the power x is equal to ln of 1 positive root 5 divided by 2. Now, we know in logarithms, if you have something like this, log a power b is written as b times log a, and the same goes for natural logarithm. I would be rewriting this as x times ln 5 over 4 is equal to ln of 1 positive root 5 divided by 2. I need to find the value of x. So this implies x is equal to ln of 1 positive root 5 over 2 divided by ln of 5 over 4. So this is the value of x and that completes the result. However, you can use your calculator and find out what exactly is this value. But we don't need to do that. Just It's okay to just write x to be as ln of 1 positive root 5 divided by 2 divided by ln of 5 over 4. And that completes the solution for this question.